Good morning. It's Tuesday, November. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I have to look at my phone. And I'm on my phone, so I can't. But anyway, yesterday I woke up with a migraine. I had a lot to do, so I didn't do the psalm. But good morning. We're going to do Psalm 2 today. Um, I was going to hit the highlights about the book of Psalm before I read my psalm until I get finished with them. And there's only about five things to go through. And today, that would be the date. The date the Psalms were written. Okay? So, let's bring y'all right here. And I'm going to read y'all about the date that the Psalms were written. It says, the nature of the book of Psalms as a collection, as a collection of songs were used in Israel's worship. It makes, it makes it difficult to assign a date to this entire book. Um, the Psalms are written at various times throughout the history of Israel. The superscriptions of some of the Psalms identify the precise historical setting. And it says, for example, Psalms 51, David's prayer for forgiveness after he committed adultery with Bathsheba was probably composed during the 10th century. So, um, some of them, they can kind of figure out when they were written because of what they say. Um, it says, in contrast, Psalm 137 is a song of God's people who went into Babylonian captivity and remained in captivity until, the five, until, the 538, until about 538 B.C. Um, edict of King Cyrus of Persia permitted the exiles to return into their homeland. Good morning, Donna. <laughs> it's good to see you. It says certain psalms composed by individuals were probably modified later for use in the worship assembly. The book of Psalms is part of the section of the Hebrew canon known as the writings. So today we're going to be reading Psalm 2. It is titled, The Messiah's Triumph in Kingdom, Psalms 2. It says, Why do the nations rage and the people plot a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their bonds in pieces and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens shall laugh. <clears throat> the Lord shall hold them in derision. Then he shall speak to them in his wrath and distress them in his deep displeasure. Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you. The nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession, you shall break them with a rod of iron. You shall dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore be wise, O kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And you shall perish in the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are those who put their trust in him. That's Psalms 2. And this says, um, it has a little um, part that describes the psalm. So we'll read it too, because this is out of my study Bible. It says, this royal psalm most likely connected with the enthronement ceremony of a new king. It contrasts the rebellion of earthly kings with the greatness and power of God. The coronation of a new king in Israel apparently was accompanied by an outburst of unrest and rebellion on the part of the nations subject to Israel. Therefore, the king of Israel asserted his authority as the anointed of God. 
Revolt against God's people is portrayed as rebellion against God. So it lets us know that this is a royal psalm, probably uh, sung or written when a new king was anointed. So apparently the people were real rebellious about the, having a new king. And that's what this psalm is about. So um, I'm having my coffee this morning. Psalm 2, um, it's a good psalm. I mean, it can apply to us as well. And it just says, I'm going to read the, the positive part at the end one more time. And y'all listen to it. It says, now therefore be wise, O kings, be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and we should all serve the Lord with fear. And rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you shall perish, and you perish in the way when his wrath is kindled but a little blessed are those who put their trust in him to me i know um to me when i read this it talks about the sun it talks about the sun several times and to me that is a depiction of christ being the son of god because so many people on the earth still believe that christ is nothing more than a um prophet and they do not believe that he's a real, truly the son of God. So um, you could also apply that in this psalm as well. That's what I thought of when I read it. For those who uh, don't believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, this is something, you know, you can read and uh, apply that there too, I think. So uh, thanks for joining in this morning. I actually have a doctor's appointment for my back this morning. Um so I'm drinking a cup of coffee. I don't have to be there until 8.30. So it's about time for me to leave. And um, it's not far from here. But I wanted to come on this morning and say hello to y'all. Read the psalm. Make sure we get our mind right and in tune with the Lord today before we start our day. Um, it's always a better day when we do that. Yesterday I was pretty stressed and I didn't take the time out like I should have. So hopefully today will be a lot blessed, more blessed. Y'all have a wonderful day and let's say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this Tuesday. We thank you for all the ladies who tune in now and later today that want to listen to what you have to say to them. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your son. And thank you for our salvation. May you be with each and every one of us as we go throughout the day. May you keep us from temptation and bless us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, if the doctor says anything interesting, I'll let you know, but I'm sure he won't. He'll probably just order the skin for my ribs. And then I'll be on my way um, to get the skin done, and then I'll go to the specialist. So it'll be a while before we know anything. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Happy Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I hope you're cooking a lot, getting prepared. Make some of those ahead things that you can do. And... Um, we will talk to y'all in the morning. Love you. Bye.